The times of the chickens. The sun is shining. Birds being conscious. People for set up for fishing. What a wonderful time for the world of fish. Hey, I heard that Shogun want to change the chicken with Damios. And we also in the break of civil war. <laughs> and also, there are these two dudes that look king for Hojo Tokomune. And they come to my house. This is probably not my day. The Mongols. After all those blood spillings happened in the Middle East, and N was defeated by the Mamluks, the Mongols turned to four kingdoms, or the Pax Mongolica. Which on the contrast, Ilkhanid was here, Chakatai was here, Jochi here, and finally the Mongols. Which in then, become the Yuan Dynasty. And here we can focus on Yuan Dynasty. After all those blood spillings and interesting time, there's a weird guy named Eric that's, that just came to the Kublai and says, Hey Kublai, you are not the supreme power of the Mongols. It's because now, I'm the great Khan. When you're not gonna become idiot, Eric. So a civil war breaked out and Kublai Khan sent some armies. And after a really quick skirmish, Eric was loose. So now Kublai Khan still the great Khans of the Mongols. And let's be honest, he is Adolf Hitler of the Mongols in the Middle Ages. It's because he has a lot of ambitions. He already sent some armies to Thailand, but failed. He even got to the Indonesias and tried to invade it. And at times of the Middle Ages of the Javanese and the times of the... That's that country. Is. Oh yeah, the Singasaris and the Javanese. So they go on a trip like, Hey you, all of you, since you guys are nothing but... Since you guys are nothing but goats, and we already defeating a lot of dudes, the hospitals and the other armies, and the roots, so you must have surrender. I don't know the hospitalers or whatever you're talking about, but whatever it is, out from my land, and I'm not gonna surrender. And by that eating the eyes of the convoys. After hearing the news, Kublai Khan was furious. How can an isolated thing in the middle of the ocean say something like that, and even eat their eyes? So Kublai says, don't worry. Don't worry, bro. I'm gonna eat their eyes for you. Thanks, your Khan. Though he said a different general, so he had that desert been eaten in the eye. And assemble an army. But when they arrive in Pantan, Singasari already died. The general's like, at least I'm gonna conquer the Kateris. And then there's an interesting figure called Asradin Vijaya that comes to them and says, Hey, bro, you say you want to conquer the Kateris? Yes. Why? Well, I will help you, and by that, I get the Kadiris from, and by that, I will become your vassal. And it's because they're thinking that's the real thing that Red and Vijaya wants, and they just, yeah, the things. And spoiler alert, something will happen to them. Red and Vijaya start the scheme. After defeating the Kadiris, they make a victory. And then this is where the scheme starts. All of them was sent to somewhere and then turns up that's a trap and turns up that's a trap and then Radim Vijaya massacred them all. Kublai Khan was furious. How he can do this to us? He tricked you sir. Shut up Kushla! This is not the point! <laughs> sir, you're crying? I'm not crying. It's just that sometimes when I'm sad, water comes out of my Hey bro, some when the time Kublai Khan become like that? I don't know. But he can't take revenge on Radin Vijaya is because it's C. And he has a new obsession. Japan. The island in the middle of nowhere. And a place full of samurais. And it's because he don't want to trick by r something like Radin Vijaya. He sent some envoys. And these envoys go to Japan. So they meet the guy named Hojo Takamune. The envoys that was sent, Hojo Takamune just ignore it. Even don't want to see his face, their face. Maybe he just thought that these guys are nothing but balls with weird hats. They don't know what a, what a likely humiliation, 
a humiliation that they will suffer. And after the same reply was came for whatever time it is, he was furious. Ah, oh, come on! This is already the 60 times we sent a message and Hojo Takamune doesn't reply. He don't want to see our face! Uh, sir, let's just do what you do to us. Batu, you just read my mind. So the Mongols do what they do the best. Invade. After attacking Korea Peninsula, and the Emperor, Emperor Gojong just surrendered, so these guys take advantages to take on Japan. And their target is this part of Japan. It's because this is the only part that was really close to Korea. They go on for the kill. So they bring on and take the vessel and go to the Japanese. But it's because these guys are nomads. They don't know the experience of riding a boat. But hey, they defeat a lot of armies all over the world. So they're pretty confident for themselves. Some Japanese pirates that's supposed to raiding some lands in Korea see this and saw this as a threat. So they battling in there. And however, the Japanese has more experience in the seas because what they do is just raiding Korean lands. They were for the fury pretty easily. So the reserves tell to the, to the Tsushima Island governor, the Sudan clans, to set up some army, you says, because there are a whole new thing coming. So this is pretty much the army that the Tsushima people can make. Down right over here, uh, the person that just volunteers and oh look at that there are coming and the mongols has these weird big shields that might be inspired by the europeans so here they are you see this is not the whole mongol armies but you know they are outnumbered so the battles begin the japanese throw some arrows volley after volley to start the war and preventing the mongols to get in but the Mongols are keep on coming and keep on coming and never stop coming. So they must have retreat to the forces. And when the Mongols know that the samurai just retreated to the forces, they also swarm them up. But the samurai has no more choice. So they attack the Mongols really fiercely. So the Mongols defeated the samurais. So then after that, they swarm the island and committed atrocities. So when they want to attack their last positions, they have enough of it. So the Japanese crushed up the Mongols and the battle break ferociously. They keep on warring however they're outnumbered and they and a lot of lives are dying. And when the Mongols already break into the walls and the samurai want to attack, they see their fellows. They're used as the shields. What they can do in this kind of situation? Do something that they learned from the before being samurais. They committed suicide. A really tragic end for the fellows. And then they attack the island of Iki. And it ends just similar like this to humans. So the survivors came to the Japanese mainland and talked to Hojo Tokomune. Sir, you must do something. They just take the island of Tsushima and Iki with atrocities. Tsushima and Iki with atrocities? They also shield themselves with Japanese people, making the samurai kill themselves. What? This is madness! He can't do this to us. We must pay them back. They can take our lives. They can take our land. But not with our brothers. Mitsudaira. Yes, sir. Calling all the reserves and the samurais. We're going to declare war to those weirded headed dudes. And win it. Yes, sir. So they armed themselves. So when the Mongols arrived, these guys being like crazy. The general has the thinking that this will be a catastrophe. Hey, Kublai K, it looks like there's... Hey, 
It looks like you must to come back to the mainland is because, well, of course, the samurai will retaliate of all of us, dude. And also, they gather up armies and ready to attack us in every cause. No, no, keep on going. You guys outnumber them. Keep on going. But sir, I mean, we're not have the experience enough about the navy. And also, it looks like typhoon will come. Just keep on going, dude. Okay, okay, okay. So they continue the war anyway. So when the wars become, wave after wave of Mongols came in. And the samurais also in the charge. And they finally got the clash. They keep on throwing volley after volley of arrows. So their formations kind of messed up. And by retaliation, they sent volley after volley of arrows to the samurai. And the samurai must have maneuvered them. First they struggle, and then they compromise what they, but like the Mamluks and the Thais and the Majapahits did. So they come out victorious. Sir, what do we have to do? Retreat the armies! Yes, sir! So they retreated. So they retreated, and seeing that they now had they accomplish, they chased them. And chased them they do. So they retreated. Victory for the Samurais, and bang 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 for the Mongols. And just like the says of the general, a typhoon hit. And massacred them all. Only a reserve that survived. He was so furious. It's because his army just defeated by a thing he thinks as a pirate. How can you just defeat it by all those pesky pirates? I'm sorry, you're a great con, but they're not pirates, but they are loyal knights. Loyal knights, loyal knights. What do you mean, loyal knights? You can, all of these that we have accomplished for all these long times, and all of the manifest destiny that was made by Genghis Khan, you guys just failed it. What the hell are you guys? Sir, they're, sir, they're all does I get any some experience of the seas. And they're hit by typhoons. I already call I already tell you, Kublai K. We're not have that experience of those naval stuffs. And we're and we don't know that there's a typhoon or not. It's because the weather of Japanese was really extreme. You try to say that I'm dumb? No, I'm not saying that you're dumb. Maybe. I'm not dumb, you're robots shut up he was disappointed of everything. First, he defeated an Thai, and then schemed by Radin Vijaya. And now, he defeated by the person that he believes as pirates. He is humiliated. And after he conquered the song, he's thinking about Japanese again, and bringing his colleagues again. Hey, Kutch, look. What, sir? Look, we have, we just conquered the song, right? Right. I'm thinking about the Japanese. I don't know what are you talking about. No, listen, look. We just conquered the song, right? Right. And now I'm thinking about the Japanese. Oh, must be those old times. No, listen, look. We just defeated the song, right? Right. And now I'm thinking about the Japanese. Let's attack Japanese again. Seriously, Kublai K? Seriously, sir? Yes. Okay, again, look, the Japanese weather are uncompromised and we can't tell if there's a typhoon or not. And then we're not experienced at navy stuffs. And then these guys are Lord Knights, not pirates. Coach, look, this is your problem. You have no ambition. Look, we just conquered the Song by the power of navy. And the last battle against the Song is in the navy. That means maybe you have more experience now than then. And now I'm gonna send more armies. What if we can accumulate it by a typhoon again? Just shut up if you want to see the world. Yeah, right, sir. So Kublai Khan planning for another invasion. So they planning for the second invasion, but now with two counterparts. And again, they easily conquer Tsushima and Iki with atrocities. But the problem is, this part is too late. 
Well, these guys already conquered two islands and doing some atrocities and ready for an invasion again. This guy is too late. Sir, can I go first and attack the Japanese? No, Batu, no. The plan is you and Kuchluk will be together and attack the Japanese together in combined force. But sir, if we do this, that means we're letting the time for them for fortifying. Just stick on the plan, Batu. Yeah, right, Kublai K. What? What? So he waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. And then he says, screw it. This is taking a long time. And they will can fortify it if we just wait too long. And anyway, I want to win my own victory. So when they meet again, they defeat it pretty easily. But the Mongols are not done yet. Next day, they're in the charge time finally this guy came and he's like what what the hell are you doing hearing that voice they're literally immediately start warring against the japanese but kublai k says we must bind together and tag them together dude you're too long and we don't want to earn our own own things which is our own victories not Dude, this is not time for this. Watch out for your backs! What? <laughs> ah! Retreat! So, bang, 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 the Mongols are on the run. So, when, and then, when they rest in the middle of the sea, the Japanese came, attacked the, one of the edges, and then massacred them all. After alarm by that, all of the navies come back to the Koreans. Then, this is happening in the middle of the street. Typhoon hits. Wah! Typhoon! 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 Kuchuluk is right all about the typhoons. Shut up, Ying Sheng. This is not the time to talk about these stuffs. So yeah, in the middle of the street, they are hit by the typhoons. After that, he was more, more furious. What the heck are you doing? I thought you all already have the experience of Navy, and turns up. You defeated again! Sir, we hit it by Typhoon again. Oh my god! Now bring me Kuchluk. Sir, Kuchluk drowned. How dare he drowned! It's already the destiny he died in the battlefield, sir. Shut up, Shang Ying! This is not the point! <laughs> you're sir, you're crying? I'm not crying. It's just that sometimes when I said, Water comes out of my eyes! Oh my god, he is dumb. Yep, he is dumb. What? I don't know if the Mongol noticed this, but it looks like for the Mongols' theologies, this is the curse of the Battle of Angelut. Remember this guy? Yeah, this guy that in the Battle of Angelut. <sighs> After this, why I was defeated? After defeat it and defeat it, and then I got toxic friends and I was schemed. Is there even real friends these days? What's going on, dudes? You again. What are you doing here again? Well, I'm just walking around is because now I'm have some traits. Shut away. Or I take you. <laughs> what the heck is going on? You will never expand in your life! Cars from the Battle of Angelot! Oh god, I'm scared. What's going on? What? Oh my god. What? 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 What the heck are you talking about? Okay, okay, I'm gonna get away. I don't want to get that re red looking thing again. <laughs> These day Mongols just become idiots. So yeah, that's what happened to the Japanese and the the Mongol confrontations, and something had to do with the Arabics. Hey, thanks, bro. You're getting the curse. Who the heck are you? Um, okay. Great talk. So the local dudes that defending the Japanese were have a funeral and has their own things to remember the memories they make. But what, so that was what imperially happens. But that apparently changed the world of the Japanese. They will go to the years of the Sengoku Jidai. 
invade Japan, go to the Battle of Sekigahara, and finally unificate. And then the age of colonization, America came to their lands, and then they become the supreme power of the World War II, and become the friends of Adolf Hitler. And from this part right over here, we know that this guy is really affecting the world by blood spillings and others, even affecting until the times of the eras of Adolf Hitler and Stalin. So from this, we say goodbye to these three dudes.